Okay, so right now I'm going to tell you guys how to enable your testing cheats in Sims Medieval. This, if you are familiar with how you do it in Sims 3, this is totally different. In fact, a whole different way. You actually have to go in and modify a file in your game. Um, if you have us, the Sims Medieval Pirates and Noble, you cannot do this through the Pirates and Noble icon. Um, you can only do it through the Sims Medieval. You cannot be in-game when you do it either. Um, actually, I tried in-game and it doesn't work. So, this is the way you do it for Sims Medieval. What you're going to do is, uh, how I do this is, I right-click the Sims Medieval icon for the base game. Uh, I scroll down, tell it open file location. Um, up, up at the top in the address bar, you'll see Electronic Guards, the Sims Medieval, Game, and Bin. Just click on the Sims Medieval. Uh, scroll. Uh, you should have a folder called Game Data. If you don't have that folder, you probably should reinstall the game. Um, click on Shared. Uh, click on Non-Packaged. And then click on Any. You'll see this commands.any file. Now, this part is important because you cannot modify this file unless um, it is taken out of the folder. How I normally do it to make it much easier is I just cut the file and I move it out. Uh, I just put it on my desktop. Obviously the computer will ask you permission. Just tell it to continue. The folder, the file is no longer here. Um, go ahead and open it up. And you will notice that mine already is enabled. Mine says one. Um, you'll You'll see the warning, editing this file is not supported, blah, blah, blah. Um, don't worry about that. I've never had an issue doing this. Um, but where you see testing cheats enabled, it will normally be a zero. But in order to enable your testing cheats, you have to change that number to one. Change the number to one, click file, save as, save it to the desktop. Obviously, you want to replace Go ahead and replace it. Um, and then just cut this folder and or cut this file and you want to put it back in the same so make sure you're putting it back in the any file um, I always just minimize the any folder because this way it makes it much easier <laughs> for me to regain access tell it to paste um, the computer is gonna ask your permission again <clears throat> and um, you can always double check it I always do and it shows that it's enabled. This right here will allow you to drag and click the uh, hunger and energy bar. It will allow you to uh, bypass the quest, although I will explain a little bit more. I will go into depth a little bit more about the certain cheats, which ones I recommend and, and which ones I don't and why I don't. Um, bypassing the quest I do not, <clears throat> only because if you do it sometimes you still have to go and get that item that you needed for that quest because otherwise you won't be able to complete that little quest itself, the whole quest. Um, for the most part, you can, I mainly use it to raise and lower the, to raise up the hunger bar or lower it. There are some quests where you will need to, like a bard, you might need to have him starve himself. <laughs> uh, it's very dangerous. I just let the game do that naturally because well, I tried it once and I accidentally killed him something else cool speaking about that I will show you guys a video of the Grim Reaper I will kill a sim on purpose just to show you guys that if you guys want to see what the Grim Reaper looks like anyways so um I hope you guys have a nice evening this will be my last video um for a few days I will probably come up with um I will probably do another video on um on Monday so look for one then. Um, in the meantime, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing so far. Um, I don't do just videos on games I will do. Um, I've got some how to dealing with pets. Um, I've got some stuff that I did with um, video editing programs. If and um, for the most part, if there's ever anything specific that you guys want to see, let me know. And I will be sure to arrange it and get it posted and uploaded for you guys. Um, just 
keep in mind I do get pretty busy sometimes so there may be a few days that go by in between videos I will try to at least have at least one if not more per week for you guys so um let me know what you think of my videos and if there's anything specific you want to see uh do keep in mind that I am I do openly take requests I will also be um posting um on my next video I will probably post my Facebook and stuff like that so y'all can contact me that way um, with your requests and stuff um, but yes um, and if you have a YouTube channel I do love subscribing to channels post your link and I will be more than happy to subscribe to it especially um, if you post what I like too but I do love subscribing to channels so have a good night and um, I hope that this video was very helpful to you guys and uh, look for some more after Monday sometime.